All right. Well, the Dynamite show was big business, and they did not waste any time as the show opened with a car arriving. We did not see who was in the car. But then they went to the ring, and the lights went out, and music played, and CEO appeared on the big screen, and Mercedes made her debut. And she got a new song. Yeah, it's, uh, gets people to chant CEO constantly. Yeah, there was a lot of CEO chants on this show. Well, and the song chants it. So well, they do, ju- but when they turned the when they turned the the song yeah, yeah, yeah. off, they were also chanting. CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the show was built around her. I mean, and and she got she got a giant reaction. She and Will Ospreay, and and to an extent Okada as well, all got really big reactions on the show. So she did this long promo, thanking all the fans and saying they were going to make moments and milestones here. And and AW talked about the people like Eddie Guerrero who'd. Made her believe that she could do this someday. Talked about dropping out of school to take care of her brother. 18 years old, 90 pounds, trained at Chaotic Wrestling. And she wanted to become the best women's wrestler of all time. And she noted that I'm going to be watching this main event tonight. Riho and Willow Nightingale. Willow, we have unfinished business. But right now, I am all elite. And she danced. And uh, she did say she was... And she almost did CEO, just like Britt Baker, but she uh, she stopped. She herself. sort of did. She sort of did. I think that's a natural feud if Britt Baker ever returns. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, well, you know, what's the story on Britt Baker? Did you tell me? Uh, okay, she was. She did an interview. You know, she was. A, a I know that's the thing. Like she did that interview, and everybody thought, "Man, well, we got this big debut, and she's doing an interview, and maybe she'll be there tonight." And wasn't that the show? No. Bailey was there. Bailey, Bailey was went. there, yes. In Bailey the, uh, went. cheap seats. Um, yeah, yeah. No, skyboxes. Well, so sure. Cheap, well, I mean, it was cheap. way up there. Those skyboxes are way up there, Dave. But they're not cheap seats. They're not cheap seats. No. But they're in the cheap seats. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're up there, but they're I expensive call them cheap because seats. they bring food in for you. Yeah, they're expensive seats, yes. usually. You know, I mean, they're very expensive. Um, they had 9,500 people at the show tonight. I mean, which is, you know. It's a good number. I mean, I still think, I mean, I, 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 uh, okay. I can't even believe that the most elementary thing that you said that they should have advertised this, that people somehow thought that like got up in arms and it's like, what does anyone like know anything about the history of wrestling? It's like, do you realize there's actually a reason why they advertise matches for the last hundred and 40 years? Or maybe the reason that the people in charge are called promoters. Their right. job is to promote. Yeah, it's like it's like there's something because WWE is is very hot right now. But even so, even so, WWE is hot right now. But it's like when when The Rock is on, they do in fact. No, they did they did bring him in as a surprise, but they now promote him. And when they promote him, they act. You know, I mean, they do well, sell. Well, hey, more listen, tickets. If you want to talk about WWE? I mean, we've got three things for SmackDown. We have four things for next week's NXT. We have uh, four things for this coming week's Raw, with a ton of names. I mean, they're they announce. And to be fair, also, I mean, we do already have five matches and segments announced for next week's Dynamite. Yeah, so yeah, that they, is they, a huge improvement. Yeah, they that, do have a lot. Uh, of if you're they, in Toronto, you know. What's going on on the show next week? So well, we'll see how it does. That's a that's a big one because um, they had to me a very disappointing advance for Toronto. I mean, but they have a loaded show now. Um, I think tickets were maybe around five thousand. Um, I haven't looked at the number, but I think it's somewhere in that range. And um, you know, I mean the the building. I think, um, um geez they're uh, they're in, i think they're in the coca Cola coliseum i think and that's so they could probably get about seven to eight in there i think if they sell it out um but i mean it's it's you know it's adam copeland and christian and an i quit match for the title among other things i mean that's the big one though and um mercedes will do a promo on the show next week so uh we'll see how uh the tickets move this week um, i think the important thing about this show is did fans get the hint that she was coming back at the end of the show? If they did, I think the show is going to do very well. 
If they didn't get the hint, well, we'll then know. I think we could have the deal we had on SmackDown when The Rock came out at the beginning of the show and then he left and everyone stopped watching the show. So. Well, we'll, well, we'll see. The quarters will be very interesting because if if people believed that she was coming back, they they might have stayed. If they didn't, Willow Nightingale and Riho in the main event segment, as as much as that was a pretty good match and everything, and and both are very charismatic, um, it's probably it would probably on its own die in a main event segment. So if it doesn't die, um, that tells you that the people enough people knew. If it uh, goes way up, you know, I mean, like the, the quarters will, will tell the story as far as like what people thought and didn't think. Um, it's it's interesting because again, um, you know the the big thing for them right now is is uh, rebuilding. Um, I don't know. Will Osprey said it right? The feeling. Will rebuilding yes. the feeling. I mean that is what it is. It's like if they can get that what they had before back, and you know they really pushed on the show that this is the strongest roster they've ever had, and it is. It is an incredibly strong roster of talent. It it, it might be. Not not for marquee stars. In no way in mark for marquee stars is this the strongest roster. You can't even compare with like with the roster WCW had with stars and, and WWF had, you know, in, in, in different periods in stars. But as far as in ring talent, depth of in ring talent and high quality in ring talent, I mean this is um I'd have to look, you know, that that 2018-ish New Japan is 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 kind of incredible, but this roster is pretty damn great, um, and you know that's not the be all and end all. I mean, it's like the the key is, it's is is getting people interested and wanting to see the stuff and getting it hot. And it's very very difficult when WWE is hot for another company to be hot, but um, you know, I mean, we'll see with Mercedes and. Will Ospreay and Okada are 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 really they're huge additions. They really are. I mean, I knew Mercedes would get a big reaction. She did, as far as staying power and as far as interest in matches and things like that. You know, we'll have to see. You know, I mean, it is is it gonna is it gonna stay? Osprey is way more over than I expected, um, and and he did a great job on his promo tonight too. Um, and Okada, I I think. Um, you know, Okada has a very defined character. Um, it's not just here's Okada. I mean, he's like total heel. It's interesting they're doing the Okada Eddie Kingston match not on the pay per view, but they're doing it next. Oh, Wednesday. we'll get to that. We'll get to yeah. That. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. You have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.